Yo, what's going on guys? Today I just wanted to talk about the the most annoying quest I have ever done in Destiny 2, at least so far. This is the Weapon Forge mission that you get from uh, the, the tower. It's, it's from that lady all the way in the left. It's like a robot lady. Well, you pick that up and you start knocking out some of the quests, which are really easy. And then you get to the point where it says you have to use powerful weapons on a powerful enemy. And um, I didn't realize what the objective was asking me to do because it said powerful enemies. And I didn't know what powerful enemies were. So I had to go and Google it to find out who was a powerful enemy. And then I also had to figure out what the powerful weapons are. Because I was assuming in my head that powerful weapons meant like, I don't know, using my ultimate power or something on on like a boss. And uh, I guess it was the right concept to go after a boss. Because that's definitely the ones you want to go after is the elites. So it's the ones that have yellow health bars. Not the ones that have orange. If it has orange a health bar, that's just a regular and normal mob. But if they have a yellow health bar, that means they're kind of like a boss. And those are the ones that you need to get a kill on in order for this to work. Powerful weapons are the weapons that have the elements on the side of the weapon. So it's most likely your secondary or it's your, your heavy weapon. So you need to have one of those. The primary weapon, from what I've seen so far, doesn't ever have an element on it. And um, so that's something that I didn't realize. So I kept killing the, the elite bosses over and over with my primary weapon. And I'm like, why the hell is it not giving me credit? And that's the reason is because I needed to use my secondary or my heavy weapon. So I definitely recommend that you use a melee weapon or use a, like an automatic, like a submachine gun or something like that from your secondary. That way you can at least do some damage. And your objective is to get the killing blow on one of these mobs. Best place to go is Mars. This is one of the, the best places to see a bunch of elites pop up. Um, you have at least two elites that will pop up during the fight. Um, when you go to these pylons, it's basically the excavate mission. You can continuously do this. There's tons of people running around doing it. Uh, I probably recommend that you try to team with people, which I, I didn't, and I truly regretted it because it made it that much harder to grind this out, mainly because you need to get the killing blow on the mob, otherwise you don't get credit. And this is so stupid. This is like back in like 1998 MMO days when, uh, you know, you had a team with every single person in the whole area just to kill one mob, you know, like... This is so stupid. This this needs to go away. This needs to get fixed because this is this makes this mission extremely grindy. I've been at it for like two hours, three hours, and still barely even got close to the end of it. I'm still currently, at least as far as this, this video, probably by the time I post this video, I'm going to be done with it. But I'm still haven't finished it completely. And I know there's another step right after this one where you have to kill more elite bosses and you have to collect things from them and this goes right back to the same problem so i definitely recommend that you guys get a team go to mars do those pylons as much as you can and um hopefully you finish it faster than i did <laughs> but anyway this is like the most annoying mission that i've ever come across i don't know if like this is the worst of the worst but uh it's so freaking annoying and i, I really hope this video was helpful and um good luck but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you on the next one. Later.